So I just stumbled upon a tiny patch of hedgehog mushrooms. I've never found hedgehogs before, so I'm really excited. Let me show you. So this is a hedgehog mushroom. You know it's a hedgehog because of the tiny little hairs underneath. So hedgehog aren't like boletes. They don't have spongy bottoms. And they're not like agarics. They don't have gills on the bottom. They've got little hedgehog fronds. And uh, that's how you know it's a hedgehog. Also, take a look at that spider. Look at that spider. Oh, it's so cute. It's so very cute. Oh, yeah. I'm going to leave this little one here to let it grow. Little hedgehog mushroom. Time to pick you. Wow, look at that hedgehog underside. Isn't that beautiful? And here I found some tiny winter chanterelles. Today is a good mushroom day. Winter chanterelles don't look like the normal kind of chanterelles because they're much smaller and thinner but they still have the same pseudo gills at the base that are attached to the stem and that's a dead giveaway that it's a chanterelle. Only orange mushrooms with gills like that are chanterelles. Check it out, here's another one. Look how many more there are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They're super tiny, but enough tiny things makes a good mouthful. I have found two kinds of chanterelle. This is golden chanterelle, this is winter chanterelle, and here are two hedgehogs. Time to eat them. So I'm cleaning the chanterelles in the sink and cutting off the dirty parts and putting them in here. Butter and garlic. Kale and fennel. So I'm baking these mushrooms inside the butternut squash. Put the garlic on top. 